say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Welcome to my channel Creative Kingfisher This is Nairi and uh, generally on my channel you'll find uh, decorative planning and I also do some watercolour because I am creating stickers from my own original artwork but this is special because this picture is of Rosie, Rosie the Border Collie and Rosie is my daughter-in-law and son's uh, beautiful beautiful dog so this is also going to be a birthday gift so I'm going to layer the watercolour I'm going to speed it up for you so that you have some lovely music to listen to because it would take you know, it's going to take hours to do this i don't know how many hours i'm guessing somewhere between eight and ten hours so i'll be speeding up for you but you'll be able to see how i layer the watercolor and uh, i'll show you what i'm using so i'm using some round tip watercolor paint brushes i'm using some japanese watercolor because they're nice and soft and i think they're really easy to work with got my little dish for mixing and over here I've got a photograph of Rosie that was taken recently and another photograph of Rosie that I go between the two to combine the facial features and the background.
Okay guys, I hope that you're doing okay and you've been following through what I'm doing. So really I'm just kind of making sure that I know where everything is going to go and using a different colour base for each of those things. So I haven't done the sand yet, the little people, and I haven't done the background of the house, but pretty much that's the first, what I would call lay layering of the watercolour. And um, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, you know, add a comment. Obviously this collie is not looking like a collie at the moment. The colours are all, they're not, they're not true to colour. And a lot of, you'll see a lot of things building up in a minute. So we're going to go now for the second layering. Um, and I'll speed it up again for you so that you're not kind of hanging around to see how things take shape. And I will probably start from the fore foreground and work my way through, even though the dog is going to be the focal point and probably the most difficult part of the painting, I might not do that first, I might work my way through. So guys, here we go again.
so we've done quite a lot already now we're getting into the final kind of bit really well not the final bit but we're going to start to add more detail and this is where sometimes with watercolor you can overwork it feel like you need to have the gaps of white to kind of let the light in and things so it's possible to put too much paint on and um, with watercolor i think that's very definitely the case so guys i'm going to give you some more music and i'm going to start to put some detail in
it all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you Okay guys, so now we're on the bit which is what I call artistic license. So there's going to be stuff that I can't see in the photographs that I think is going to be nice colours or enhance the picture. Little tiny details. I have done a little bit of extra stuff on the dog off camera um, or on his face. There might be a bit more to do there. So I'm going to finally get into the final piece uh, for you to see and I'll put the music back on for you. Thank you.
So guys, I feel like that this is done. I feel like I've had any more that I could kind of overwork it. And because I want the dog to be the, the center of the picture, then I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. My channel is a mixture of decorative planning, junk journaling and watercolour. This is only the second watercolour I've put on there, but I am going to be making watercolour pictures for stickers for my decorative planner. So the, the pictures will be reduced right down into kind of sticker shape and size. So if you think you could be interested in any of those things, then please subscribe and I will see you on my channel. Thank you.